Hey guys, what's up? Chris. I know guys, this video is a re-upload, but um, I had to take it off YouTube and edit it right now and make some changes to it because of some personal reasons. Um, but I just want to thank you all for watching this. I know it's a re-upload. Um, I will have to do this with a couple of my videos. Um, I believe three of them. So guys, if you're watching this again, I really appreciate it. Um, feel free to comment again and rate, and I will catch you guys next week. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I would just like you guys to go check out a YouTuber by the name of App Reviewer 24294, excuse me. His link is over there in the video description if you guys want to go check him out. He's got some cool videos. Subscribe if you like what he's doing. And uh, let's go ahead and finish and get on with this video, guys. Intense review. As you guys can see here, it is the Marvel Sports Group Extreme in the red and black version. You guys can go ahead and pick it up if you don't really like this color. You can pick it up in pink and white or black and gray. Or white and gray, excuse me. Not black and gray, white and gray. Um, so it does give you a little variety to choose from if you don't really like this color. So I'm going to place this back here. Comes in very simple packaging. Simple packaging. I love simple packaging. Great job, Marmar. You have your silicone encaser, first of all. But then in here, you have your nice little cardboard cutout. Like always, go ahead and take this out of here. You have that. And you go ahead and open it up. Just like in the Echo View, you have the nice malware microfiber, nice, really nice cloth right here, guys. Awesome cloth. Actually, is one of the coolest microfibers um, I've gotten with any case, so definitely a cool thing right there. I'll go ahead and throw this off to the back. You also get the screen protector right here. Very nice screen protector. That's nice. And then you could use this as your squeegee if you want. I don't know, because it did not it really include a squeegee. But um, you can use this, I guess, if you want to. All right. So that's that, that's what comes with it. And then you get the case, of course, right here, guys. Um, this is, if you guys couldn't tell, it is a silicone case, right here. Um, not one of those silicone cases that is really stretchy. Uh, um, it is kind of tough, you can stretch it a little bit if you really did try. You guys can see it stretching right here. Um, it does have a really neat design on the back, you guys can see here, it's in a red. Let me put this more near the camera. If that's looking almost like an orange to you guys, it's not. It's, it's a deep red, really deep red. It's a really cool red, actually. Um, this is also not in my video camera yet, this is on my webcam, I did not get the charger still, um, but just a little side topic right there, um, so you do have this very cool, nice red design that flows throughout the back of the case, which gives it a really cool, um, feeling, and, uh, texture, and down here, right there, if you guys can see that, it says Marware, right there, alright, and, um, it has a nice little cutout right here for the volume rockers, and your power button right up here, and you guys are wondering, alright, cool case but the dock looks like it closed it looks like it's closed how are you gonna be able to charge it well it's not guys check this out they include this little kind of piece of the bottom right here instead of it being either fully closed or fully open they have it here so so you can open it but so when it's on your iPod you can don't have to worry about anything getting in there any dust or anything but when you go ahead and need to charge it you just go ahead and open it up and charge it very simple as you guys can see nice little indent right here for your home button cut out for your auto brightness detector so uh, let's go ahead and put the iPod in here. You can either put it in top to bottom or bottom to top, whatever you guys prefer. I prefer doing it bottom to top, so go ahead and slide it in there very simply, just like that. Pull around the top, pull around the other corner. It's not going to rip or anything like that. It feels like a really uh, strengthy, nice, strong silicone case. All right. So once your iPod's in there, it is actually a really, really tight, great fit. It's a perfect fit, not too tight or not too loose. Um, it's actually one of the best fits and... Uh, feelings I've had on any silicone case that I've ever tested out. So this is a really neat right here. I'm going to give that a quick wipe down. Alright. So as you can see, once it's on here, that does line up perfectly with your brightness detector. Your home button, very easily accessible. Alright. It does not block the screen in any way. You can easily access your screen. Um, just go straight around it, which is great. Um, right up here, you have your home button, your, excuse me, not your home button, your power on and off button uh, right here. Um, it feels naked almost, guys. The button almost feels naked, but it's not. It is covered. Um, I actually really do like that in a case. So you can feel, it feels like it's right there. It feels like you're pressing it by yourself without the case on there. But the case is on there, and it is protecting it. Um, I actually really do like that. Same thing to go with your volume rockers. Right there. Very easily accessible. Very nice right there. Feels like they're naked, but once again, they're not. It is offering protection, which is really nice. Once again, same thing to go with the home button, guys. Right here, feels awesome when you're going ahead and push it in or anything like that. Feels naked again, but it's not. It's being protected, which is awesome from this case. Go ahead and turn it over to the back. It does show the nice curved design right there of the iPod Touch 2nd Gen. It does get a little bit of length on it. It's not like 
Um, I've tried other cases that are real length um, magnets. You go ahead and put this in your pocket, rub it around, and rub it on my jeans. Not too much comes off on it. I'll give this a quick wipe down. This case was made with antimicrobial additive to help it against to help it against um, dust and lint and everything getting on it, which is actually really neat. If that doesn't do the job, you go ahead and take the nice little micro fiber they throw in there. Just give it like a quick wipe down, and that really gets all of it off because this is a really nice microfiber. So not a big deal with dust and everything like that and lint. Most people worry about with silicone cases. This is not as much as a lint magnet as the other ones are. So um, good. That's a thumbs up from our wear. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and get to that icky dock maybe some of you guys are worrying about. As you guys, not dock, the ports at the bottom. As you guys can see, it is fully covered up right now. You can't get to it unless you just go ahead and lift this up. Either way, just lift it up top and bottom very easily. Let me see here. Your headphone jack is not covered, which is, I, I actually like how the headphones are not covered, because you can just go ahead and take your uh, headphones, plug them in, and you're ready to go. Really nice, just like that. And pull those out for a second. Alright. Let me grab my charge, my sync cable right here. So, you have your regular little iTunes sync cable right here. All you have to do to charge it, is go ahead and just peel these back just a little bit, just like that. Go ahead and hold it, not that hard. Push that in, and you're ready to go. It's connected, just like that. As you can see, then, it does go over the form over that a little bit more, so when it is charging, it is also kind of protecting the bottom. If anything were to happen, if it were to fall off your desk or anything like that, it's actually really still nice, per nicely protected on the bottom. So, see, just like that. If you want, you can try to just do it like this, just by moving the silicone with the charger. You can also do that if you prefer. It's up to you. Uh, this case does offer and will offer a very nice, uh, small, slight bump protection. Um, it's also going to offer great scratch protection on the back, around your bezel. Your chrome bezel is completely covered. It's not going to get scratched or anything like that. I, I drop it from a little height, not too high, because um, it is just a silicone case. It does really do a great job of um, shock absorption. It's really great against that. Um, that's how. That's another thing I like about this case. It is thick enough to absorb enough shock and not ruin your iPod in any way, but not too thick to make it uncomfortable to hold or to make it saggy in any spots or anything like that. It's tight all the way around. Really, really nice. You guys can see if you wanted to, you can peel these back. Really cool, but they're not going to go back by themselves. They're not saggy at, at what's a wall. Everything is really nice and tight around this case. Tell you guys the truth. The truth, this is my favorite silicone case. My favorite silicone case. So I do recommend this case, guys, 100%. Really nice silicone case. If you guys are interested in this case, you can pick it up for $24.99. So for about $25, you can get this at Marvel's website. The link is over there in the video description, guys. Nothing really negative to say about this case, to tell you guys the truth. The lint was what most of you worry about. Take a quick wipe down of any cloth, really, or material, and you're good to go. Just like that. It does not do as, it does not attach to as much lint as other silicone cases may, um, may be because of its antimicrobial additive that they threw in there. Really cool thing, Marvel. Great job with that. So guys, as you guys can see, I really do like this case. It's a really nice case. comes with a lot of extras. Really great. So I really do recommend if you guys um, are looking for a nice silicone case, just something simple to protect your iPod, recommend that you guys go check this out. The Marware Sports Group Extreme. Once again, available for a price of $24.99. You can get it in a red on black like here, a pink on white, or a white on gray. Really nice. Thank you, Marware, once again, for hooking me up with this. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next review. Favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. All the links you need in the video description. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.